you guys are resting on some books, so I really hope you don't fall over because I don't want to go get my tripod today. So let's just dive into these tips today, guys. We're going to be talking about it as we go throughout the journey. And I want to give you some tips when you go away on your holidays because I know that for a lot of us, when it's the holiday season, we just really want to keep on track with what we're doing. We don't want to slide too far away from our plans and we don't want to undo all the good shit that we've basically done. So with that being said, we are going to go through some top seven tips of mine that I think you guys are going to absolutely love that you can implement right away for around the holiday season. So the first tip that we're going into is it is okay to deviate from your fitness plan during the holidays. Guys, I seriously mean that. I just went to Japan, I took a whole two weeks off and nothing happened. I'm not saying for you to take two weeks off completely if you don't want to. If you take a few days and there are some adjustments around your workout things, that's not gonna do anything. It's good to have a break. It's good to enjoy yourself. It's good to get the recovery going. So do not worry about that. And off the back of that, moving on to tip number two, I would still advise keeping active in some ways because it's good for your digestion, it's good for your overall health anyway. And in terms of movement itself, I'm talking about going for a walk after dinner, getting that food moving. If you guys want to do a little bit of yoga, do some stretching, that is amazing too. And who knows? Maybe you've got a pool there and you want to run and jump in the pool and do some laps. That's fantastic too because, you know, we're all global here we might be in different areas of the world like Australia and it might be summertime for you so yes I would say like I said tip number one adjustments are okay in your schedule do not worry about that and tip number two do still find time to stay active because you're still going to feel great and still get movement in your body which is always beneficial okay so I just went for food with Eva and she basically refused to eat her food so I think we might be coming down another Sonic I'm like, who would refuse pancakes? Anyway, let's get on to tip number three. The tip number three is to avoid that do it all or nothing mentality. So it's really easy for us to just think, okay, Christmas day, for example, I'm just gonna like literally have a few bits and then you think, ah, oh, do you know what, F it, I'm just gonna go all in. And then that continues into boxing day and the next day and the next day. And then you're like, mm, I might as well just keep this going because you know, only a couple of days to the new year and then I'll start in the new year. Avoid that mentality. Why? Because it's best to start now to get results than leave it another few days or even a week. You might as well start those healthy habits now. So one of the things that I, oh, hello, bright camera. It's one of the things that I really like to stick to, and that's why I'm a huge fan of the 80-20 principle, where 80% of the time you eat well, and the other 20% you just dive in. For example, I just had eggs from toast, and then even didn't eat her pancakes, so I ate half of them. 80-20, guys. So we're currently in bath parent load time. This week has been pretty busy to say the least i'm actually really looking forward to the weekend to just sort of yeah i'm here baby and to like kind of chill um don't worry i can see you but if you're thinking can i see her i can't she can see me um so let's get on to the next habit and this one is something that i just took away with me to japan and something that i will be doing when i go to london for christmas so it is get prepared and take snacks with you so take healthy snacks there's a bunch that you can take but i always try and say to everybody try and make it protein based so if you can take your protein powder with you take it with you you don't have to take the whole thing what you can do is you can just put it in like a sealable like zip bag put some scoops in there that's a really great tip you can also buy some protein bars to be honest i would always advise buying the ones where you live and ones that you're used to because when you go to a new country, you don't know what they're going to have. You don't know where to actually buy them from. Like for me in Japan, I didn't have a clue. So I just bought a bunch and took them with me. They were really great for the plane. I was just hungry throughout my journey. So take that with you. You can also buy some nuts. So dried nuts and dried fruit. They're a really great thing that you can just take absolutely anyway. You can kind of make your own little granola mix. But that's definitely my advice. And then when you are out and about, again, when you are in a different country, like for me, it's different. I know London, but when I do go, I will be buying stuff to keep in my hotel fridge. So I like to buy Greek yogurt to put in there. I like to buy a bunch of fruit. So we normally buy bananas and oranges that can stay on the side. And then normally in the fridge, we put like berries because we're all obsessed with berries. But yeah, that's another great trip, guys, for when you are traveling, especially around the holidays. Hello guys, it's another day, another fun fact coming your way. Who do I think I am? Like some sick of these days. 
anyway for my next trip you guys it is all about the self-care make sure that you schedule in time for self-care why because it is important whether it's the holiday time or not now self-care can be self-care at all self-care can come in varieties of way and you kind of just need to find out what your self-care is for you that could be taking a bath and doing a face mask for you it could be putting on your fake tan for others it could be reading a book watching tv or baking now i've just taken some self-care for myself it's a saturday so i just made myself a delicious apple crumble which i will come and share with you guys but that is my form of self-care just doing something that i enjoy and i just want you guys to make sure that you carve some time for yourself because throughout the year it's really easy for us to just focus on other people focus on our careers on just getting the job done this time of year is about giving but make sure you please give to yourself because that is just as important and we are all important and if we can't be the best versions of ourselves we can't be better for other people here's the apple crumble that i just made i'm actually going to my friends it's why i decided to do it i am going to my friend's house for christmas movie night very excited, just a few of the girls, can't wait, so I decided to make an apple crumble. It's not the healthiest one, um, but again, got to have balance, you know, I'm all about that 80-20 life, and that's what this is. So if you guys want the recipe, comment in the video, and I will post it in the description box for you. Hello guys, it is a Sunday uh, today, so it's a bit of a rest day. I'm having a chill time today, hence the pyjamas. I feel like we've not done this in ages. Bit of tidying up, washing, or we have baked gingerbread cookies, we've done painting. It's been a bit of an active morning. But let's move on to the next tip. So the next tip for you guys is try and get enough sleep. So you want to be aiming to get eight hours of sleep. The reason being is it's going to help you feel rested, it helps you recover, helps with your brain. I'm pretty positive it helps with your brain. <laughs> Um, and also it's just a really great self-care practice so try and aim to make sure that you aren't staying up super late you're going to bed at like 3 4 a.m and then getting up at night try and make sure that you maybe you go to bed at midnight you get up by eight so you get those decent eight hours sleep now here's some quick tips on ways that you can also bonus tips get a better night's sleep so make sure that you're not watching tv or on your phone about an hour before bed try and just really distract your mind maybe read a book do some meditation and also try and maybe have a shower or a bath and drink hot milk before bed eva loves a little a milk before bed she doesn't have it exactly before she has it like an hour before and sometimes Aaron and i like to have like a cinnamon milk or we have a hot chocolate that seems to just make us feel a lot more rested before we sleep so that is my next tip oh, it's been one of those days today where i just feel like i've not been productive. i mean it's a sunday it shouldn't be productive anyway but like my tree i just kind of just been having a bit of a me day it's been great having a bit of time to myself and doing what i want to do uh so i need to go get eva up in a minute um but anyway i wanted to talk to you about my final final tip for the vlog so i hope you guys can see me okay oh, that's better isn't it oh, here we go guys let's just chat over here so my final tip guys is balancing out your plate so be smart with how you're eating in terms of how you portion your plate out around the holidays time so the way that i like to describe when i do my plate is i make sure that i always have enough protein carbs and fats is that right protein carbs and fats I don't even know what I'm saying half the time today. I feel like I've literally lost it. Anyway, so when I do my protein, I like to make sure that it's about the size of my palm when I have some protein. So that could be like turkey. I don't know what you guys like to have on the holiday time. Do you in terms of protein? Then I like to make sure that I have like a fistful of carbs. And then I also like to make sure I have about the same portion of veggies on my plate. So I just kind of like to balance it out, making sure I'm having the right things on there. Um, and also I like to make sure that it's nutrient dense like don't get me wrong there are going to be times over the holidays like last night I went to my friend's house and we like went in and we had amazing pasta we had two different kinds carbonara tomato all made from scratch she did an amazing job and then we all brought desserts so there's going to be times occasionally where you know you're just going to go and do what you want to do but in terms of like the actual holiday day itself Christmas just try and get a bit of a balance on your plate plan it out make sure you've got the right portions and you know you're eating food that's obviously going to drive and fuel your body you don't just want to be eating food that's going to make you feel sluggish afterwards so that's how i like to plan out my plate around the christmas time and on christmas day specifically i can't say specifically specifically i need to work on it. it's like the one word i can't say does anybody else struggle with that word it's not easy but yeah that's my tips guys what is that oh it's on my 
30th birthday card. How cool is it in the background from the Aaron? But that is my tips today, guys. I hope you all found this video really useful and I cannot wait for you guys to start implementing these tips. Let me know in the comment section below which tip are you going to be starting with? Are you going to do all seven of them or is there a couple that you're going to take? I hope that you find it useful and beneficial and it helps you to just stay in a healthy frame of mind around the Christmas time. I'm so excited. I am going to London for Christmas. Haven't spent Christmas there in about four years. I'm really excited. Obviously, can't wait to take Eva. Going to have a merry time. Go see all the Christmas lights. Uh, but yeah, that's it from me, guys. Have the most amazing Christmas. Have the most amazing month. This is the season of you, so enjoy it. Have a best time. And can't wait for you guys to have another workout video from me next week. Okay, bye.